and welcome to the first Friday Night Frenzy of 2013. From the ice to the hardwood, it was a very busy night for the first Friday night of the new year. So let's get our own party on and go to work. We start tonight's frenzy off with a good one between two Delta County rivals, Escanaba and Gladstone. In the first, Kelly Jensen with a nice backdoor pass to Allison Austin, and the Braves led early by two. Escanaba now on the attack. Zoe Burquist would knock down the triple, and the Eskimos took a one-point lead. Escanaba kept firing away as Cody Jenshack would miss the shot, but Jessica Bochamp there to put it up, put the put back in. The Eskimos up by six. When Gladstone began chipping away at that lead, Sadie Strasser, as you just saw, made the shot from the wing. Now down by two and on the run, Gladstone ties the game as Strasser makes yet another hoop. And this game was close throughout its entirety. Gladstone's Jessica Boudry would make a shot as the final buzzer sounded, and that gave the Braves a 35-33 win over rival Escanaba. To the scoreboards, and there were a lot of girls' games tonight. Kingsford slips by neighboring Iron Mountain, 37-31. Carly Benzi had 17 for the Flivers. Dollar Bay wins by 10 over Hancock. In Houghton, the Gremlins run away from Lakeland and Hubble for the W. Alyssa Jermu scored 26 for the Gremlins. Onsenagan defeated Jeffers 59-37. Barriga wins at home over Watersmeet 50-21. In Crystal Falls, Lexi Gusser almost outscores West Iron County by herself as the Trojans win 61-39. Back to the highlights, Menominee and Marquette battled one another in a great Northern Conference contest. First quarter, the Redettes leading 10-4, Hunter Vidala drives and pulls up inside a three-point line. She's left wide open and Vidala takes and makes the shot, putting Marquette up by eight. The very next Redettes possession, Vidala left open on the other side of the basket this time, but as you guess, it's the same result, cash money. Give Vidala the, free, the three ball, Marquette led by 11, timeout Menominee. The timeout did the Maroons, well, no good, as Destiny Beckwith rises, fires, and knocks down another Marquette three-pointer. The Redmen went on a 21-0 run to end the first quarter. To the second, Marquette leading by 20, Vidala drives and is blocked by Amanda Pedersen. A foul was called, but I think Amanda got all ball on that one. Not a lot went right for Menominee tonight as Marquette wins 68-23. Vidala had 22 for the Redettes. In other girls action, North Dickinson closed to within three of Stevenson in the third, but the Eagles pulled away for a 10-point win. Casey Charlier was big tonight for Carney Nato with 31 as the Wolves hold off Bark River Harris by four. Mid, -Pen, the Mid Peninsula wins at Big Bay 40 to 30. Well, let's go to Nagani where the Miners played a conference game against visiting Mystique. First quarter, Ashley Veal would have her shot blocked by Kyra Lousen and she would get the ball up the floor and no one's going to catch her. She puts the ball in the basket for two and the Emeralds led by two early on. Manistique worked the ball inside and outside here. Leah Cook passes to a cutting Gabby Lafayette and she puts it in with her left hand as Manistique led 6-0 and that was the score after the first quarter. To the second, Nagani looking to get on the scoreboard for the first time. They do. Adina Anderson works her way to the hoop for two and the Miners trailed by four. Back comes Manistique Lafayette. Hits the wide open shot from three point land, putting the Emeralds up by seven. This game needed overtime to determine the winner, and Nagani's Ashley Veal made a shot with seven seconds left in the extra session to give Nagani the 47 45 win in OT. Just a few boys' games to get to on the frenzy. Menominee falls by 20 to Antigo. In the Western UP, Republic Michigami wins by 14 at Ontonagan. One more boys game to get to. Ishpeming played their first home game of the season against Lance. The Amatites sprinted out of the gates early to cling to a 7-0 lead, but the Purple Hornets got hot from outside the arc as Keith Denemy hits the three, Lance down four. Later in the quarter, Daniel Perro steps back and knocks down the jumper, but the Amatites still led by four, and the cheerleaders, well, they're a happy bunch about that. Leading now 12-10, Dylan Mackey drives to the hoop, Loses the ball, but Mitch Lauren was there to scoop it up and put it in. 14-10, Emmettites. Still in the first, Bobby Zalke, no good in the free throw, but there's Lauren again, tracking down the ball and putting in another shot. The game was tied 16-16 after one, but the Emmettites pulled away to win by 16, 7-56, thanks to 17 points from Joey Lyle. And welcome back. After enjoying the holiday break, the Marquette Redmond hockey team was back in action tonight, taking on a team that we rarely see here in the UP. The Gross Point North Norsemen took on the Redmond at Lakeview Arena. Three and a half minutes into the game, Gross Point with the puck in their zone. Forrest Folker picks off the pass, gets off the quick shot, 
and he beats Tanner Kohlberg low on the glove side, and the Redmen took a 1-0 lead. Later in the period, the Norsemen had a three-on-one odd man rush. David Chavey to Jack Guest, who was stoned in front by Evan Kyle, and it remained 1-0 Marquette. Kyle had to be on his toes early here. Another turnover by the Redmen. Joe Wright thinks he has himself a goal, but Kyle flashes the leather for another big save. Kyle was a very busy man in the first as he would stop another shot from Jack Guest here in a few seconds at the end of the first period. Marquette led 1-0 after one. This game went into overtime tied at one where the Norsemen scored a goal in the extra session to win 2-1 over the Redmen. Evan Kyle stopped 35 shots total for Marquette. Back to the boards. Calumet wins 6-2 over Norvi. Lucas Lanala and Braden Anderson each had two goals. Brighton 4-3 win in overtime over Houghton. Daniel Bazio had the game winner for the visiting Brighton Bulldogs. At the New Year's Eve tournament in Jeffers, it was Escanaba 9-0 over Nagani. And the Jets win 3-1 over Grand Blanc. Travis Wiesa with two goals for Jeffers. In college hockey, Finlandia was shut out by Curry College 3-0. In Division I college hockey, Northern Michigan starts off the new year with a 6-2 road win at St. Cloud State. NMU had six different players like the Lamp. Eric Higby had three assists for the Wildcats as they win their first road game since October. Lake State also victorious at home 4-1 over Union. Western Michigan blanks Bemidji State 6-0 and Michigan continues to struggle as they lose to the Team USA under-18 team 